This is the autobiography of Ellery P. Mansfield um, that he put together for us to, to look at. Um, so when he designed his autobiography, he was in middle school, looks like seventh grade. He used a piece of something kind of like construction paper. Um, and this was designed back in the 30s. So look, the doors open right up for us. And it's kind of like we're going inside the doors of his life, which is really neat. We open it up, and look at, he did it on the back of a math paper. Okay, so he had done some math on one side, and he decided to recycle his paper, okay, which was really quite thrifty of him, um, and to create a cover for his autobiography. Then when we open it up, he wrote this autobiography on, you can tell it was lined paper, and it's on, in beautiful, beautiful script. Okay, and beautiful cursive writing that you can tell he tried to do very neatly. Chapter 1, my favorite ancestor. Okay, and an ancestor is somebody in our family who, who came before us, right? It could be a grandparent, a great-grandparent, or even further, further back before that, a great, 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 great somebody. Okay, so my favorite ancestor in early life, Edward A. Mansfield was engaged in running a trading schooner, which is a ship, along the Atlantic coast. It was on one of his voyages he thought he would like to visit Jonesport. He did so accompanied by his father, Henry A. He found this a desirable place, as he said, but the most desirable thing was a nice-looking girl. In 1834, so he's writing back as far as 1834, that's almost 200 years ago that he's writing about this ancestor. His writing was in the 1930s probably, but his, the knowledge that he had went back about 100 years before that. In 1834, he made this voyage and decided to stay. He met Lewis, M., uh, Lewis W. Sawyer at a church, at a church time, and two years later married her where he made Jonesport his permanent home. And we're talking Jonesport, Maine. He continued going to sea, and his wife kept his little store, the, sec uh, the second uh, to be erected in this town. They had their home over the store. So that's what he wrote about his favorite ancestor. And then he has a little bit more here he wrote on the back. Two years later, he built what is known today as the uh, Musabek, Musabek House. They had nine children, two boys of whom were lost at sea, named Daniel J. and Levi E. They had two girls and both died while young, Susan B. and Melissa Ann. The other five boys are living today, Edward A., Charles H., William F., or William T., maybe F., uh, by and B and George F. George F. is my own grandfather. Since I started this biography, my uncle Edward A. has died. So that's chapter one. And in the next one, we're going to take a look at chapter two.